Keensburg Amusement Park in Keensburg, New Jersey was a disappointment. There were five rides I wanted to go on at this Jersey Boardwalk Park. One, Looping Star. This would have been my first Pinfari Looping Star. Two, Chaos. This would have been my second and possibly last chance Chaos. Three, Double Shot. This drop tower looked like it would have given great views of the beach. Four, Haunted Manor. This haunt was recently refurbished. And five, Sea Serpent, because credit. And only one of those rides was open. Care to guess which one? All I got for my visit to Keensburg was one additional credit, the Sea Serpent Kitty Coaster. And then I got a lot of frustration. It was clear when I pulled up to Keensburg that this park had seen better days. It looked extremely run down. The asphalt was cracked, almost half the rides were closed, and many of those rides were in pieces. Double Shot's banner was torn and tattered, and Lupo Plane had a metal wire dangling from it while it ran. Maybe that was a string of lights, but whatever it was, it looked really weird. And better yet, many of the closed rides had pieces just sitting on the midway. I couldn't tell if that was laziness or meant for photo opportunities. Looping Star had one of its three cars plopped down in front of the entrance, and I have no clue where the other two cars were. I have heard nothing but negatives about Pinfari Looping Stars, but I was still morbidly curious to try one before they all go extinct. The Kitty Log Flume's logs were plopped down the midway as well. The same could be said about the few of the Chaos vehicles. All these closed rides and the lackadaisical appearance did not paint a pretty picture for this park. Combined with a staff that just seemed like they didn't want to be there, the whole park just felt gloomy. In terms of the operating attractions, I did ride the Lupo Plane because of how rare these flat rides are, and it was considerably more forceful than the Zamperla Hawk models more commonly found nowadays because of how compact this ride was. And it offers some good hang time going over the top on the slower rotations. But outside of that, I didn't ride anything else. The other flats were your standard rides like a swinging ship, some spinning rides, and a large section of kids rides. Compared to the other boardwalk parks, Keensburg is actually a pretty long park and they have a lot of rides packed in. You actually can't see the other end of the boardwalk when you're on one end. It's just a shame so few of the rides were running for me. Keensburg is a free admission park and I'm very thankful for that because I was able to get in and out for under $10. I was also able to park in the street for just a dollar or two at a meter. The streets around the park felt like a ghost town, so it wasn't hard to find a space. I think Keensburg also has its own parking lot, but I'm unsure what they charge. I also know the park offers wristbands on select days, but they were not available on the day I visited. Not that I would have wanted one anyway with so many rides closed, but I just wanted to note that. Now to the park's defense, the ticket booth did clearly list all the attractions that were closed, so they were up front where you had to go to pay. However, there was no mention of the rides closed on the website. And I get when one or two rides closed unexpectedly. Things happen. But it was clear that several of these rides hadn't run yet in 2020, and probably would not run all year. My recommendation if you plan to visit Keensburg is to call in advance to see what's actually running. I probably should have done that in retrospect but I didn't think so many rides would possibly be closed. One last thing that really surprised me with Keensburg was how nice their water park was, called Runaway Rapids. While Keensburg Amusement Park looked dated and run down, Runaway Rapids looked fresh. It's clear to me where the park has been putting their investment, and I can only hope they start investing in the dry side, because right now it's really not that good. So do I recommend visiting Keensburg Amusement Park? It's hard for me to recommend the park after such a poor visit. However, they do have two coaster credits, a rare chance chaos, and a haunt that's supposed to be pretty good. If you can call the park in advance and confirm all these rides are running, I could definitely recommend giving them a shot as long as you've done all the other parks in the area. I personally would be willing to give them a second shot only if I got a confirmation over the phone that everything was open. But my visit wasn't the first time I've heard of someone leaving the park disappointed so my experience is far from an isolated event. Those are my thoughts on Keensburg Amusement Park, which was based on my sole visit this year. What are your thoughts on Keensburg Amusement Park? Were the rides I missed any good? I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and consider subscribing because there will be a lot more amusement park and roller coaster videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.